was throwing the ball. Obviously, he's got some fumbles that uh, he needs to get cleaned up. Uh, but yes, we want him to have that confidence to let that ball uh, rip and to understand when those times are and when you get those one-on-one -on -one matchups to go ahead and let that go. And um, you know, he's like I've said before, he's only going to get better and better. And I think for us, that's exciting. Uh, I think there'd be a lot of people this year that love to to have his production out there. Um, but you know, he's only going to get uh, better and better, just like our offense and our team will uh, as we finish the year. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that was a missed assignment by T. That was an RPO. Uh, has a tag onto a run, and uh, you know, that's a freshman out there. He's got to get the complete signal. He's on the other side of the field, and um, you know, it was just a very small signal added to the end of a run signal. Uh, you know that he's got to be able to go. But again, for him, that's a learning experience, and you know, it happens once. You learn from it, and uh, you know, our our expectation is. Uh, that it doesn't happen again. And he's a guy that, you know, when he's in there, he plays fast. Um, you know, he, he was going to block that guy full speed, but uh, that was, you know, the best part of it. The bad part was he wasn't supposed to block him. You know, he's supposed to, to uh, run a conversion ball and uh, have an opportunity there. And that's, again, that's another example of, you know, having an opportunity to throw a conversion versus a good look and um, not everybody being on the same page. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of different pieces going in there, but, we're not making excuses. That's who we are, and uh, we're going to look at it, coach it, correct it, and uh, you know, be better for it. Coach, what can you say about Travis and his touchdown to touches ratio? How he just seems to every game find a way to break out and, and continually have those big runs. Yeah, um, he's dynamic. I'm glad that we've got him. Uh, when he touches the ball, he's he's a um, has the potential to score at any moment when he gets it. I mean trying to find more ways uh, to get in the ball, just like throwing the ball out of the backfield. He had an, that was an explosive play uh, whenever he got the ball coming out of the backfield. Um, you know, and again, this is game 10. Uh, you know, he's at a lot better place than he was game three, four, or five, as far as understanding the entire uh, big picture, um, you know, all the little things that go with it. I mean, we're, we're moving around and asking those guys to do a lot of things, uh, but uh, he's doing better and better. Played one of his best games, um, so I think I think he's in a good spot and uh, only going to improve. And we'll continue to find ways to get him the ball. Jeff, uh, it seemed like most of the last month, the playoff talks around this ball are going to be two SEC teams in the league. Now, with you guys in Miami, the talk switch from the ACC. What's that say about the quality of this league and the way things are? Ready? Yeah. I mean, I think we've felt like the last few years that the ACC is really trending up. Um, you know, I, mean, I think it was <laughs> four or five years ago, and, and people were asking Coach Sweeney that question, and he said, well, the other teams outside of Florida State, you know, need to start winning. That's the way that we get it, and I, I feel like you know, we have. And, um, you know, it's, my, Miami's obviously doing good things on that other side, and, and um, you know, and there's been, I think from top to bottom, uh, our league has shown uh, a lot of competitiveness, and um, you know, and, and the good news is, I, I feel like um, a lot of our teams are positioned well for the future. I don't feel like this is just a, a one or two year thing because certain teams have these franchise players, and then they're going to go back down. You know, I really feel like uh, our league is as strong as it's ever been, and um, you know, I think that's good for everybody. Yeah, I think we've been close, um, you know, and, and obviously the big returns, uh, you know, have come at good times. And, you know, I know this obviously last week at NC State was one of the difference in the games with the, uh, the uh, seven points. And then this week, I believe uh, Travis's touchdown run came right after that punt return. So we get big momentum, get the ball in the red zone or, or right there on the plus side of the field and then first play touchdown. I mean, those are explosive plays. But I, I think along with uh, his returns, I'm probably more encouraged with the way that he's handled the ball. Uh, we've had very few poor decisions back there as far as you know when to come up and catch it, when to let the ball bounce, and fielding the ball. I mean, all those things, those are, when you're playing in these tight games, those are big, huge plays and can be difference uh, makers in the game. So I think um, he's definitely done a better job with that. And then you know, also got to give those guys up front uh, on the on the front line of the punt return team, 
you know, have done a good job and, and shown some improvement holding those guys up. And, you know, we proved you, you just got to give Ray Ray a little bit of room and, and he can uh, impact the game. And that's something Coach Sweeney, I mean, he stresses on all the time is the special teams and, and making a difference in special teams. And uh, so it's been good to see our, our punt return uh, game improve and, and uh, we're hoping that will uh, continue. Yeah, well, well, I think what you would always expect from a uh, you know military type school is uh, you see a disciplined team. Uh, you know, they they play hard. Uh, they're where they're supposed to be. You don't see a lot of bust with guys looking around, pointing fingers at each other. Um, you know, they've had times this year where they've played people very well. Uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I think getting ready to play Western Carolina, they were uh, you know top in, in defense in their league in a few areas. And then I think the last couple of weeks, um, you know, they haven't had the same success that they did early in the year, you know. But for us, it's 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 really the same message. Um, you know, it's not about who we play, it's about how we play. That's been the same message when we're getting ready to play Auburn and Louisville and Virginia Tech. You always got to have respect uh, for your team. And obviously, you know, what they did in Columbia a few years ago, you know, our guys still remember that. They know about that. And uh, there's plenty of reminders out there that if you don't come out focused, you know, it doesn't matter who you play, um, you know, um, you can have a long day. And uh, so our guys know that, they respect that, and uh, they respect uh, Citadel, and, and uh, we'll watch them on video. And, you know, as coaches, we spend the same amount of time, you know, getting ready and going through. You can't, you can't cheat the process as a player or a coach, or you put yourself uh, in jeopardy on Saturday. So. This week will be uh, really about ourselves and improving ourselves in some of those areas, and and uh, you know going out and playing our best game we can Saturday, and then we'll worry about the next one after that. All good. All right.